everyone. I think it's going to be another busy day in the treatment room today. Shall we see who's in the waiting room? Oh look, it's Alice the ant and her family, Lily the dog and, and, hmm, I'm sure I had another appointment. Yes, Dr Poppy, Felix the tortoise has an appointment at 10 o'clock, which is now, but he hasn't arrived yet. OK, I'm sure he'll turn up. In the meantime, let's welcome Alice the ant. Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello Alice, what's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? I see, Alice. You've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own, you're making life more tricky. Whereas you could make it known that you need a little help and your friends can clearly see a help. Welcome, work together, that's the key. Share the load, it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on. Share the load, you need a little give and take. We can help each other to be strong and to be brave. When you're worrying about Works wonders, and you can work as one. On your own, you get frustrated, and you can't get to the end. Don't carry all the world if your back is going to bend. Share the load, it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on. Share the load. Be strong and to be brave. Share the load, it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on. Share the load, you need a little give and take. We can help each other to be strong and to be brave. Share the There you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done. You're all working together. As Hello, everyone. I'm Dr Poppy and welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a special hospital just for pets. I'm a vet. So my job is to treat poorly animals and make them better again. Shall we see who's in the waiting room today? Oh look, we have three animals to see today. It's Sarah the cat, Jake the spider and Colin the chameleon. Shall we find out what's the matter with them? Let's welcome our first animal, Sarah the cat. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello Sarah, shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Hmm, let's have a look. Sarah! Your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm, let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, 
listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three. Three beautiful kittens. Well, here comes Boris the puffer fish. Puffer fish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Well, hello everybody. Let's see who's in the waiting room today. We have my friends Shane the koala, Sally the snake and Cecil the snail. Oh dear, they do look like a poorly lot. Here comes Shane the koala. Shane is eating eucalyptus leaves, which are a koala's favourite type of food. <laughs> this is very strange. Normally Shane is so happy. I wonder what's wrong with him. I think Shane might be homesick, but I wonder where home is. Let's show him some pictures of places around the world and see which one makes Shane happy. Italy. America. Australia. Shane is from Australia, which is on the other side of the world. Many people miss home when they are living somewhere different, and they sometimes feel very sad and homesick. Well, let's sing a song to make him feel better, shall we? You're feeling homesick and that's because You're a long, long way from the land of Oz You miss visiting Sydney Opera House And going to the outback for a walkabout Lots of friends you know Cling on, don't let go We can call your friends back home So there you go, Shane Do you feel a bit happier now? And we have a little surprise for you All the way from Australia I think this one's for you, Shane it's your cousin Bruce! It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! Rudolph is part of Santa's special team of magical reindeer who pull his sleigh around the world on Christmas Eve. Hello Rudolph! You don't seem to be your usual self today. What seems to be the matter? <laughs> Are you telling me you can't fly, Rudolph? Hmm, we 
have to fix that, don't we? So you can deliver all the presents to good girls and boys on Christmas Eve. Maybe, instead of eating that grass, Robbo can make you some magical reindeer food to give you that Christmas spirit again. Some magical reindeer food coming right up. Here we go. Amazing! You look better already, Rudolph. Let's see if you can fly now. Can you take a big leap again? <laughs> That's all from the Pet Rescue Centre today. See you again soon and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs>